Continue from the previous section or open the file Office Suite Analysis underscore 03.max. You'll notice in the viewport the light meter represents the daylight factor. There's another way to represent the values of luminance and illuminance in the scene, and that's using the Lighting Analysis Assistant. So go ahead and open the Lighting Analysis Assistant. Go to the Analysis Output tab, and let's look at the Image Overlay Effect. Click on Create Image Overlay Effect. That will create the effect and put it in our Effects dialog. In order to edit the effect, click on Lighting Analysis Image Overlay. Down in the Parameters area here, we have several parameters. Under the Type and Range, we have the Quantity, meaning the whether it's Illuminance or Luminance, and the Scale, whether it's Linear or Logarithmic. Well, we're going to measure the Luminance. However, notice that we do not have the ability to measure the Daylight Factor as an overlay. The Daylight Factor is just available in the light meter within the viewport as a measurement. So we'll keep Illuminance. We'll go ahead and hit the Render button from the main toolbar. Click Render. We'll wait while this renders. Once it's finished rendering, it will come up with this pseudo color image. This we can close and discard. It's the image that's in the final render that we're interested in. It provides the lighting analysis in Illuminance. And currently our color values are not set to the value that we have in the scene. So we'll go ahead and close the render dialog. And if we look in the render effects parameters rollout, we can see the largest displayed value was 2714 lux. Let's go to our max value and type that value in. So 2714 and hit enter. Now we'll change our light meter color coding because that's no longer set. And if we go over to the General tab of the Lighting Analysis Assistant, you'll see that it has also changed the maximum value in the Analysis Value and Color Coding rollout under the General tab. So they are all connected. If you change the value here, it will also change the value in the Lighting Analysis Image Overlay effect. Something very important to remember. Now if we go ahead and render that scene again, again once the rendering is finished we can close the pseudo colored image. Now we look in our view, our rendered image view, and we can see that there is a much better use of color from blue being dark to in this case, white being the maximum value with orange and yellow and a good transition to cyan and off into the blue. Let's go ahead and close this. That concludes the creation of our lighting analysis image overlay effect. If we want, we can show the numbers from the light meter helper. Once you close the dialog, let's look back at the parameters. Let's look at the display options. And let's turn off Show Numbers on the entire image or screen grid. And let's turn on Show Numbers from Light Meter Helper Objects. There's also a way when working within Max to do this interactively and update it. So let's turn on Interactive. And it will reload our scene and show us just the options that we have. I'm going to move this out of the way a little bit. And we can see that when I toggle this on and off, we can see the different numbers that we have. I can turn on and off the camera name, the daylight information, 
and I can fade or unfade the background. So depending on the information that I want to show, I can select options here. I can also, when I'm doing the screen view, adjust how many I see. So if the vertical spacing is larger, there's more space in between. It's not the number on the screen, it's the actual space in between, the number of pixels in between. Now, if I put 50 pixels there and 50 here, then I'll get a grid that is good size. I might want it tighter, I want it, might want it looser. However, if I show the number from the light meter helper object, that is fixed to the number of points in the light meter object. So in this case, it's five by five. If I move that out of the way, I see five this way. And there is a light meter object uh, point here as well. So that concludes our lighting analysis image overlay effect. Let's go ahead and close all this. Save our scene, the increment on save. It'll save it as office suite analysis underscore zero four, and we're ready to go.